right, ladies and gentlemen. So I ended up selling a pair on eBay. I sold these for uh, three seventy-five. eBay with eight percent uh, deductional fees. It uh, ends up being a uh, three forty-five. So they took eight percent, which is thirty dollars. I did have these before, like at four hundred and ten or four hundred. 420 but uh i just uh did end up selling my brother's size which is a size 14 uh there we go man uh dead stock i was surprised because i sold these i'm kind of sick so i don't know if you guys could uh, hear it in my throat like uh, i'm getting sick you know because uh it feels like when you try to eat stuff or swallow stuff you really can't because uh it's clogging up so i'm probably like wait i just had the flu a couple a couple months ago you know but yeah man so sold a size 14 for my little brother uh he's not a size 14 no more because uh he's getting skinny from doing all that weightlifting and bodybuilding powerlifting and all that type of good stuff you know strong man so yeah man so he's pretty much uh the regular box the sheet right here uh yeah uh he's pretty much uh his feet shrunk so he's pretty much around my size he's a size 11 and a half to 12 i'm a uh, 11 to 11 and a half uh, 12 sometimes in Yeezys it just depends what it is if it's a Yeezy slurs or if it's a Yeezy slider it just depends what it is you know but um yeah let me uh I'll put this box over here really yeah, just put it here. yeah so uh it's a good shoe man it's new book uh it's suede you know the thing about this is that uh when these came out the red thunders I don't know if you guys remember Pretty much having the uh, Jordan 4 Yellow Thunders, which those were pretty nice, but now those are going for about six or seven hundred dollars. Uh, these are going for about pretty much you could say around 340 the cheapest or least like 330 You want to get rid of them quickly to so between like 375 to 400, just depends who's the buyer. Because I saw like the last previous sale on eBay was for about 380. So mine's for 375. I put all I put all my shoes that way. I did have three pairs of these, so this is the first one selling out. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty beautiful shoe, man. I mean, you can't go wrong with a black and red shoe. It looks nice. This is pretty much the sunlight of the UVA, the UVA lights. Because if I close the door, here we go. Look, you guys gonna notice how, like, the difference between the doors now. Like, it looks different. Yeah, and then when you open the door, yeah. And then if I like turn the light off from this side, you see, you see like a little bit, it's just a little shadow, but that's pretty much it. But yeah, man, so these, I'm gonna go ship them on eBay. It's a Saturday. Uh, tomorrow's the Super Bowl. I'm surprised I saw the issue because uh, my last two to three pairs of shoes were Yeezys, uh, if I'm correct. If I remember correctly, it was uh, the last previous sale that I did was the Blue Tents. After that was the, the 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 Yeezy 350 Blue Tents, the Yeezy 350 Bone. That's the white, like all white shoe. And then from there was the Yeezy 350 Oreo. So I have literally sold like the last three pairs of Yeezys. But uh, yeah, man, finally sold a Jordan on eBay. Just letting you guys know when you sell. <laughs> My throat's killing me. When you sell on eBay, I uh, remember. That you are gonna get subtracted eight percent out of whatever you put the shoe. Plus, if you have a promotion, that's another subtraction. So, whatever percentage you put for the promotion, it recommends you. It will tell you like thirty dollars or like forty or fifty dollars. Just keep that in mind. So, selling online, it's good, safety, and you ship it out. You know, it takes a little bit of labor, but uh, you don't have to be worrying about like meeting people locally then getting scammed or cash you know but it just depends on you meet up that's why when you do deals you got to do it in public but uh yeah man um pretty much show these uh 375 with a shipping uh i don't know taxes but i know shipping was like about 1498 or something so the buyer ended up uh, buying this for like 384 something 0.76 i think yeah so i got 30 dollars subtracted right now my balance that it says funds hold funds holding which is the money that i'm receiving which until i ship this out and they get uh 100 authenticated by ebay and then because they're working with they're working with fedex this protection you know um it is gonna be 
that's another that's another cost so like for my instance for my last shipping label i paid 15 dollars or 14 something so for this shipping label i'm probably gonna pay like around 14 or 15 dollars keep that in mind 30 subtracted so i'm right now at balance 345 dollars uh subtracted by that so i'm pretty much down to like 320 dollars so you could probably say because of the shipping label plus i still have to buy the 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 label which i haven't paid for you know so that's what it is for the shipping label and then from there uh it's just the gas when uh, fedex drops it so they charge you for that i mean that's why sometimes the shoes are a little bit high price you know because people try to make the profit but yeah but uh there you go man i mean i'm letting you know how uh, how it goes uh selling on ebay online i don't know about stock x gold stock x sorry about that it's my parents uh just arguing you know because they gotta go wash the laundry uh but uh yeah so oh, oh my god i forgot what i was saying because i just literally they literally lost me oh uh, yeah for i haven't sold anything stock x or goat uh just because i mean the fees are pretty much insane and i don't feel like you're gonna make that much profit um i don't know man it's just my opinion i have seen other youtubers uh try stock x goat and ebay and they say the best way to sell is on ebay but uh i don't know man you only you can only you can tell if you start selling you know you notice like okay you have to pretty much sell the same shoe and put at the same price and then do your youtube you know review and like okay like yeah he's probably right like oh this makes me more money than that you know but it just depends you know yeah and uh pretty much what the thing with ebay too guys when you're selling a shoe uh you can send it in a bad box not a bad box but uh, like a normal box you know if it's like damage and there's not like fresh new box uh you can pretty much use the reusable boxes that you get your shoes from and then ebay uh what it tends to do is pretty much they authenticate it then they ship it out in a new fancy box you know regular brand new fresh box and then they uh, send it to the buyer uh but yeah man uh, just letting you know what's the process you know just uh, explaining to you how it works and everything if people are curious of selling shoes i mean uh i don't really sell shoes like that no more only reason i started doing it was because i needed to make more money and more cash while my youtube uh, blows up you know because i'm barely at uh six or seven thousand subscribers and uh yeah man sold these bad boys so i'll ship these out man size 14 and uh yeah and uh get paid because i'm still looking for a job don't get me wrong man uh who knew getting a job uh pretty much is hard man because i haven't my last job i was holding it down for three years and i was like wow like it is tough and then getting the same salary and pay hourly it's harsh man but yeah man other than that guys uh hopefully you guys enjoyed this video man me pretty much explain to you guys sorry if i'm not really talking that loud or properly right now but uh yeah that's pretty much it i'll let you guys go if you guys are interested in buying shoes that are size 11 or 11 and a half I do have a size 10 and a half for this and a size 11 and a half, which I have for 375. So take that in mind. And uh, I have a couple, I have two shoes I haven't posted. So I'll post those up. I'll post the Jordan 11 Cherries, which uh, I wanted to keep those. And then a Jordan, uh, Jordan, no, I have a Yeezy 350 Red Core. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I'll see you guys in a bit right now. Let me, uh, let me help my parents out with the thing and everything. And, uh, I'll let you guys go right now.